Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I got my candy cane hot chocolate here. I'm sitting nice and warm by the wood stove. It's pretty cold outside, winter is upon us. I cannot believe we're in December already and uh, Christmas is just around the corner. So of course it's been a busy time of year. It's been pretty busy for us recently and so it's been a little bit difficult to get a video out there but we thought we'd take the time today to get a video for you guys. Uh, we have had a few requests from people actually and this do you know i just want to say thank you first of all for those who have requested for us to do a video on angus and it's really great to have feedback like that it gives us the chance to do videos that you guys want to see and for us you know we come up with ideas for videos and sometimes we just don't know what it is you guys want to see so thank you so much to those few people who have asked us to do a video of angus so i have angus with me right now he's here um, and we're going to talk a little bit about Angus. Angus is one of our sires that we have uh, here in our breeding program. We keep two males for our English Springer Spaniels and as people know if you've been following along with the journey we have the Welsh Springers as well so we have uh, male Welsh but for for the English we only keep two males it just gives us the opportunity to go back and forth with breeding certain lines with each other. So this is Angus here he is a blue tri roan. We talk about roan a lot and the different colorings that you get with the English Springer Spaniels, if you're not familiar with that. Um, it's basically just the white that where the pigmented color is evenly blended in with the white. And he does have some tan in his paws too, it's just his color. And so, yeah, we love having the roan. We love having that European look to the dogs. They have the beautiful square muzzle. Um, they have just a different look of their, their eyes and the shape of their face, the shape of their head, and then their ears. They have a different type of coat as well. Um, it's really, really unique and really neat, and I just, I just really love it. He has beautiful lines. He is actually the son of Gemma, and Gemma we got a few years ago. We got her, she was already pregnant, and the breeder we bought her from had bred her with her male that she just imported from Poland. So on Gemma's lines are Italian, and then the sire of this letter was Polish. So Angus here has some Polish lines and some Italian lines, and just beautiful, that beautiful rich European look that you just are starting to see more in North America. So when we had Gemma, we brought her home, she was pregnant, and we decided we would keep a male. We had another male, it was Hunter, and at the time we just felt he was, it was his time to retire. He sired a lot of litters, we kept a few of his girls, and we decided with Gemma, because we did have Remy already with our liver options, we thought it'd be good to have a male that was of black, and um, I'm just crazy about the roan, so I wanted to make sure that I had a blue roan that would sire some litters. So we kept Angus, he was our pick of the pups from that litter. So Angus sired his first few litters this year and he's now on a roll of having some litters with the girls. We have Sierra actually coming up, she is due early January and the sire is Angus of that litter. So watch out for her, her puppies in the near future. Um, I'm hoping to get a video of her this next week as well. So watch out for that when it gets uploaded. So Angus has a fun personality. He's very fun loving. He um, definitely is very affectionate like Gemma. Gemma's kind of always, she wants you to always be kind of giving her love and telling her she's a good girl. And Angus is kind of like that too. He's probably not quite as much as that, but he's very affectionate. He loves to be up in my face. He, when I go in to let him out in the morning, he jumps all excited. He gets all kind of giddy and excited to see me and um, just, like just wants me to pet him and love on him straight away um whereas some of the other dogs are like oh let's just go outside and run like oh, i'll say hi to you in a minute whereas angus is kind of like no 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 say hi to me first say hi to me first and of course my concern is getting him outside to go bathroom first <laughs> straight away but he'd rather be like oh here let me let me be in your face and um you pet me and love me first he is a, a bit of a goofy personality as well he likes He's just kind of, well, his tongue, his tongue is always hanging out. He's always kind of like, oh, la, yeah, you can see right here. <laughs> his tongue's always kind of hanging out. He's always excited. He's kind of, um, and he's kind of, we, we always talk about Hunter and maybe like I always compare my boys and Hunter is a lot like Angus when it came to just their goofy personality. Remy's a bit more um, independent 
whereas with with Angus, he's kind of got a goofy way about him. He's just kind of like tuned to the middle a little bit. <laughs> he's very smart. He um he figures things out pretty quickly, but he kind of just the way he prances along, he just kind of reminds me of Goofy. His favorite things to do, he loves to play ball. He loves to just be with the girls and um, he runs around with the girls and he's usually playing with his sisters. He likes to play with them. He's kind of bonded with them, um, which is interesting to see that that letter connection that they have. He is always with Juliet and Amelia and running around with them and um, playing with them and stuff. So yeah, he's, he's pretty close with those girls. And then of course all the other girls too. But I would say he's probably more bonded with them just because they have that letter mate um, relationship. So Angus is what I call my ball hogger. When we play fetch with the ball with the dogs playing ball, they all there's certain dogs that just love to run and go and get the ball and then they'll bring it back, especially Remy. Like he'll just bring it back and drop it at my feet. Sierra, she'll do the same. She loves her frisbee. She goes and gets it, brings it back, drops it at my feet. Angus likes to fetch the ball, but then he likes to hide the ball. He will take the ball and he'll go lay down and he will actually put the ball on the floor and then lay on top of it on top of it is if oh nothing to see here i don't know where the ball went and he's just laying there kind of chilling like nope nope not got it where did the ball go and of course i know where it is so i go here it is and then he kind of looks oh there it is there it is so then yep we do the same thing all over again and if he gets it that's what he does with it and so he's kind of funny when it comes to that it's a little bit different from the other springers that we have so the puppies that Angus had this um, with other girls, they were absolutely stunning. Of course, they've got beautiful personalities. The temperaments are gorgeous. He's got such a nice, um, very calm nature, very nice personality. He's just very loving and very sincere. And that really showed in the puppies too that we had. Not only their beautiful looks just like him, but they also had beautiful temperaments. A lot of them looked a lot like him, especially as puppies, what he looked like as a pup. Um, they had very similar appearances. So it's interesting, I always like to see, especially with uh, first time sires or first time dams, what their letters are gonna be like and the personalities that shine through. And then I love hearing stories from people. So we get a lot of our families back and they tell us, oh, this, their dog does this or their dog does that. And I always click, I go, oh, that's so much like Angus, or that's so much like Raina, or that's so much like Rami. And I always, you know, compare them to their parents. So this is something, I guess, when it comes to picking your puppy, we have a lot of people who want to pick the puppy based on personality, but your parents are the best advocates for how the puppies are gonna be. If you have a parent that is like this, like very much like Angus, very calm, very loving, very loyal, um, very sincere, he, you know, I wouldn't worry about him with, with anybody or anything. He is just, he's just such a great dog. And so for, for me, I always tell people like, you know, look at the parents, they're the best advocates for how their puppies are gonna turn out. And his puppies have been beautiful. They have had great personalities, great temperaments. And uh, yeah, we're very pleased overall with how they are. Well, I hope you really like this video. As always, thank you so much for watching. And uh, we hope you liked it too. Can I give you an idea of who Angus is? And, uh, and for those families who requested again, thank you so much for requesting, giving us an idea of a video to do. Uh, it's, it's actually a really good help when you guys do make suggestions for us. So um, thank you. We'll see you next time.